The topic of the stock market still really isn't a thing yet in Nigeria and also buying stocks tend to get a bit difficult. So in this video, I'm going to try and explain another way that you can be able to buy stocks from Nigeria. And yeah, this is an application too, but it isn't Chaka. So let's get on with the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you also want to be part of the conversation. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in a previous video, I kind of talked about an app chaka app that you can use to invest in stocks from nigeria and i also mentioned at the end of the video that we're going to be talking about a second app that i also use to invest in stocks so this app is none other than the bamboo app and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can register and start trading on this thing like you know in the previous video i did the same thing for chaka so in this video we're going to be talking about bamboo entirely and also if you want to follow in the step-by-step -step process of getting started on this you can go ahead and click on the description you'll find the link right there and you'll download the app instantly so you can follow me on this video and we can start trading today so now i give you bamboo so as you can see right here welcome to bamboo start buying and selling hundreds of u.s stocks like google apple amazon Facebook and Microsoft with as little as $20. So you see right from here, they told you that $20 is the minimum deposit for this app. But anyway, we can go ahead and swipe to the left and just check everything right here. So once you're done, you just click on get started. Pick your country, Nigeria. Well, if you're from another country, you can actually register to, but I think there are only three countries here. Nigeria, Ghana, and Kenya. So whichever you are, just click on that. So you go ahead and fill in the entire form right here and you click on next. And again, this app asks for your BVN2, your bank verification number. So if you're still feeling skeptical, as I said, I won't force you to register on this thing, but if you are ready to do this, let's go ahead and do this. So I'll just log into my account and we'll go ahead and start. And also on this app for security purposes, after you add your PIN number, you can go ahead and add your fingerprint or your face ID. So we'll just go ahead and turn on use fingerprint or face ID. Then you add your PIN number and click on next. So right now we're in the app. So as we did for the previous one, we'll just go ahead and click on the profile button right here. And in this one, we'll go ahead and click on settings. So once you go into the settings, you would see all the information that would be needed for your registration. So you go ahead and add all the information that is required on this app. And once you're done, you just click on back. So again, just like the previous app, if you're still having some problems or maybe you just want to understand the whole stock market even more, this app also has the learn section that you just go ahead and read through all these things that you want to learn more about. And in this one, it's even divided into different sections. So you can go ahead and check all the sections right here and whichever you want to read through, you can just go ahead and read through. So once we're done with this part, the next step would be to deposit funds into your account. So we'll go ahead and click on the home button right here. And as you can see directly beneath the portfolio value, you would see deposit money. So once you click on deposit money, it'll take you directly to where you're supposed to deposit the money into your account. So for the payment on this app, there are two main methods that you can actually use to deposit money into your account. The first one is the instant method. So the instant method is actually, as it says, an instant deposit method, but also the instant method comes with a very small fee that is uh, 0.1 percent of what you are depositing but it has a maximum and a minimum cap so the minimum would be one dollar and the maximum would be ten dollars depending on how much you are depositing into this app and the second one is the one to two business days that is a free deposit method that will take you at least one to two business or working days that's within the weekdays so i think i'll just go ahead and use the instant method and also as i said the minimum deposit for this app is twenty dollars so let's try fifteen dollars and see if it will go so that's you see 6,666 naira that's the convertible value directly under the 15 dollars that's 6,666 naira so let's see if this would go so i'll try clicking the deposit button right there and you see the minimum deposit is 20 dollars so let's go ahead and add something to the amounts that we're depositing so i think i'll just add um i think i'll just deposit 25 dollars that is uh, 11,110 Naira. So you see now it's green. So I'll just go ahead and click on deposit $25. So once you're done depositing and you come back to the homepage, you would find your amount showing right there at the top 
So you see right here, you can see $25 that I just deposited into my account showing right up there. And one thing I love about this app is it shows you some stocks based on their own genre or categories. So as you can see here, you can see our watch list. You can see halal stocks. So if you want to invest in halal stocks, you can go ahead and click here and check some halal stocks. You can also check oil and gas, real estate, inverse ET ETFs, um, dividend paying stocks. So this is the one I said we're going to be talking about in the last video. So let's go ahead and click on dividend paying stocks. So as I always say, if you're someone like me that doesn't have any background in accounting or maybe any education or knowledge in the financial industry, a dividend is an amount that a company pays to each and every one of their own stakeholders. So if you buy a stock of a company, you become a stakeholder of that company or a shareholder. At the end of whenever they pay their own dividends, they would pay you a certain amount for becoming a stakeholder in their company. So let's go ahead and buy one of these top dividend paying stocks. So I think I'll go into Cisco right here and also on this app too you can go ahead and add this talk to your wish list by clicking the heart button directly beside the buy button at the bottom of the screen so if i want to buy the stock i'll just go ahead and click on buy and as i said you don't have to have the total amount of a single stock for you to buy a stock of a company this one is 41 dollars, and i just have 25 dollars in my account so i'll just go ahead and click on buy now then i'll add the amount i want to buy Let's say maybe I just want to buy a $10 stock from this. So I'll just go ahead and type in 10. So it will show me the amount of share that I could buy with a $10. So this is 0 0.240 something something. So price per share, it shows me. So I'll just click on review order. I don't really care how much their stock is. This is the amount that I want to buy from the stock. So once you get to this page, it will show you the review of the stock you're about to buy. You see the estimated amount, the commission they're going to remove from the amount that I just bought. So anyway, after you're done with this, just click on buy. Purchase successful. And that means now I have a stock in Cisco. It's not up to a stock, but I still have a stock in Cisco. I hope I'm not confusing you. So once you're done with this, you just click on OK. So I'll just go back and maybe check another stock that I want to buy and I'll just go ahead and buy. So when you come back to the homepage, you would see my $25 now showing 24.84. That means they have removed their commission, the $0.15 that they were going to remove for buying the stock. That's their commission for selling the stock to me. And also if you check directly under the portfolio value, you would see the buying power showing $15. So remember I just bought a $10 stock from that Cisco. So now it is showing $15. That's the remaining amounts that I have from my $25. So let's just go ahead and buy another stock. So I'll just click on the search button right here. And uh, let's see, okay, that's Walt Disney <laughs> right here in front of me. So I've always wanted to buy a stock in Disney. Let's just go ahead and buy a stock in Disney and I'll show you, wow, this is $135. So let's just see how much we can buy from this. Anyway, I only have $15. So I think I'll just go ahead and buy a stock for that entire $15 because this is $135. Even if I buy for $15, it won't be up to a single stock so this is it right here 0 0.110 stuff like that of the shares that i'm going to buy anyway that is what i want to buy so i just click on review order so they just show me the review of my order and everything right here so once they're done i just click on buy so there you have it right now i own a stock in disney so this is about everything that you might need to know about the bamboo app but if you still have some questions, maybe things you want to understand more, you can ask me in the comment section and I will try my best to just reply to you with as much value as I can and as soon as possible as I can. And also don't forget the link to download this app is in the description. If you really want to start with this app, go ahead and click on the link down there and register right now. And also if you got a lot of value from this video and you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button right there and also click on the subscribe button if you also want to join the family and also join the conversation conversation about all these things that we talk about on this channel and then again let me know in the comment section if there's anything you want me to make a video about maybe something you don't really understand if i have knowledge on that i will try my best to just share something with you and also i have gotten a lot of questions from you guys i have just compiled all the questions and i'm going to make an entire video answering all your questions and i think the video yeah will be coming very soon and i will try my best to answer all the questions that you've asked me and then again if you also have an on 
unanswered question go ahead and leave it in the comment section because i am always in my comment section reading the comments and everything i will try my best to answer your question with as much value as i can so again if you enjoyed this content don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more knowledge about the stock market go ahead and watch this video that i talked about the stock market and also this video that i talked about the other app chaka that you can buy stocks on so guys i'll see you in the next video peace